Welcome, my dear friends, to the lesson in the series of lessons on developing geographic information systems using JavaScript. In the previous lecture, we learned how to deplay map component and we also learned how to add legend component in this lesson of the ArcGIS Maps SDK for JavaScript series. You'll learn how to use a view with map components and calcite components to create an application with a header, thumbnail, and web map. This lesson will be implemented using Visual Studio Code. Learning Objectives 1. Understand and use view with map components. You will learn how to integrate map components with the view to display a pre-configured web map stored in RGIS Online. To build a professional UI with Calcite components, you will structure your application using Calcite components to create a header with a title and logo and a web map below it. Three handle loading indicators. You'll learn how to display a loading indicator until the map is fully loaded, improving the user experience. Four access map information in your code. You will learn how to access map data such as the title, description, and thumbnail through your script. Steps to build the application. One, set up your Visual Studio Code project. Open Visual Studio Code. Initialize a basic HTML file. Create a new HTML file, view component HTML within the project folder. We will add a normal HTML code. Explanation. This code imports the necessary styles and scripts for the ArcGIS Maps SDK. Add the required references. In the head section of your view component, die HTML file. Add the references for the ArcGIS core library, Calcite components, and map components. Build the layout using Calcite. In the body of your HTML file, structure the layout using Calcite components. Create layout using Calcite. Add the Calcite shell component. Add the Calcite navigation component placing it in the shell's header slot. Add the Calcite Navigation logo component, placing it in the logo slot of the Calcite Navigation. Add the Calcite Loader component below the Calcite Shell component. Explanation, this code imports the necessary styles and scripts for the ArcGIS Maps SDK, Calcite Components, and Map Components. These are essential to utilize ArcGIS maps and UI components in your application. Add ArcGIS map component. Add the ArcGIS map component after the Calcite navigation component. Add the ArcGIS legend component inside the ArcGIS map component. Add JavaScript logic below your HTML structure. Add a script tag to handle the map's loading state and update the navigation logo with data from the web map. Add a script section in the body. Add an event listener to wait for when the view of the map component is ready. Create variables for the view and the portal item used to create it. Set the heading, description, and thumbnail of the Calcite Navigation logo. Hide Loader Hide the loader once the view is ready. Explanation This script listens for the Argus view ready change event, which indicates that the maps view is ready. Once the view is ready, the script retrieves details like the title, description, and thumbnail of the map from portal item and updates the navigation logo with these details.
It also hides the loader to indicate that the map is fully loaded. Run the application. Open the view component DiHTML file in your browser or use the live server extension in Visual Studio Code to preview your application. You should see a map with a title and logo at the top and a legend on the map. Visual representation. The following layout visually explains how the components are structured within the application. Header contains the title and logo. Map, the interactive map displayed below the header, including a legend in the bottom right corner. Loader, displays until the map is fully loaded. What to expect? The application should display a map with a header at the top that includes a title and a logo. The map will also show a legend in the bottom right corner and the loader will disappear once the map is fully loaded. Very good. In the next lecture, we will learn another way to display the map. See you in the next lecture.